Thursday. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Rachel, the owner of The Eclectic Cottage in Spokane, Washington. And my channel is kind of my uh, way to show you behind the scenes what I do here in my kitchen, some of the cool stuff that I find on our thrift adventures, and uh, some of the things that I redo and repurpose and paint for uh, my store and for my booths that I have here in town. And today's video is a thrift haul video. And as you can see, all the stuff that's sitting out here on the table, uh, this is all of the things that my husband and I found on our last thrift run so I am just gonna get started and I hope you enjoy so the first item is this my husband actually found her a uh, little bit more than I would have liked to spend but she's super cute and she lights up her little wings light up and I know somebody's gonna love her uh, just couldn't leave her there um, but she's got such a sweet face so we found that and we were kind of on the lookout for Christmas again just because it's not even quite Black Friday yet so I'm hoping to kind of make sure my my shelves are all nice and stuffed with Christmas decor uh, for the next at least for the next couple weeks so um, I found this I thought this was just really pretty uh, this is a nice just ceramic um, porcelain candle holder it's just a tree um i love anything neutral like this i'm super drawn to because you can put it with anything so um i really love this thought it was super and it's nice and heavy um so that was a cute piece and then one of the things i was really excited for i like false graph uh, I think it's a beautiful brand and they make nice high quality um, ceramics and porcelain and whatnot and so I found this set of false graph mugs and I found six of them and they all match um, and I just thought the design of them was beautiful for Christmas I can imagine drinking hot chocolate out of these on Christmas Eve uh, but and then it's got this nice little design up top uh, and I thought they were just really, really pretty. Well, then we were looking around a little bit more and I ended up finding the matching teapot. And this is also false graph and it's got the same design, only it's raised. Uh, and it's just, it's beautiful. It's in perfect, perfect condition. It's a nice big teapot. And I thought, how beautiful. I mean, even if you just use this for hot chocolate, you know, you could warm up your milk and mix your hot chocolate in this and pour it out. Hey, who says teapots just have to be for tea? So anyway, I just thought it was gorgeous. Just something spoke to me. And so we grabbed that. I was really happy with that set. So that'll be going out on the floor probably this week. Um, and sticking with the Christmas theme, he found, well, I saw this little bear and I put it back and here's why it's a little dingy and I was worried about getting it clean. Sometimes this, uh, ivory that they use that, that's like a, it's a resin, uh, it's harder, harder to clean. Um, but my husband grabbed him and he brought him down the aisle to me and he's like, this is cute. And I was like, well, if we both picked it up and he thinks it's adorable, um, and I think it didn't have a price on it, and I'm pretty sure they gave it to us for $1.99. So um, I'm gonna wash him really well, give him a good scrub with my scrub brush, but he is cute. So, and he's neutral, just like I like, so I grabbed him. And watch me drop him on the floor, that'd be super awesome. Uh, and then this angel, not my favorite color, but I'm not sure that I'm going to paint her. Uh, I love the design. She's nice and heavy. She's solid, you know, I mean, she's metal, but she's not that thin, yucky metal. Um, just really pretty. Again, not super excited about the color. It's not really a cranberry red. It's not really a scarlet red. It's more like a rust red. Uh, but this weather has not been really conducive to spray painting and sometimes when I spray outside right now I get crackle in my paint which I hate so she'll probably stay the way she is so hopefully somebody loves her just as she is and she will fit beautifully in somebody's decor uh, like I said she is really really pretty and nice and sturdy um, and she was a decent price so somebody will love her and then let's see oh I found this deer 
I'm a sucker for, I love deer. I have a bunch of them in my own decor at home. He's got plastic um, horns, which is actually kind of neat because they bend just a little bit. I don't know if you've ever tried to store um, the ones that actually have ceramic horns, <laughs> but I've, had, I've lost a few horns throughout the years, just even when I wrap them nicely. So um, other than that, it's, I mean, it's a cute piece. The wreath is in good shape. Um, just something, a nice little form to put with your Christmas decor and kind of give a little darkness against if you've got a lot of light. So um, just thought it was really pretty. And then my husband found this angel. I see these quite often. I, I usually don't pick them up just because for me, clear glass normally doesn't sell too well, but it is really pretty. It's nice and heavy glass and it's got that cute little uh, taper holder in the back and the price was decent. So, and my husband loved her and I hate always saying no to my husband because then he gets all, um, kind of weird and he will stop shopping because he's like, well, you always tell me no on everything. So I have to have some gimmies and this was a gimme. So, <laughs> and she's pretty. So somebody will love her. And then I got these stars and they're not necessarily Christmas. They almost could go with like a sea theme. Uh, and they're just decor. They just are just to stand on your shelf. But I'm thinking I might paint these up like a shiny silver um just for something like an added little level in your your christmas decor uh i do like kind of the shinier silvers and golds and things um to kind of blend in with some of the neutrals and so i don't know i don't know yet i might paint them white haven't really decided we'll see but they were they were only 99 cents each and i just thought they they make a really cute little addition to a Christmas decor display and let's see keeping on with Christmas again I like the shiny golds this is a uh, mercury glass I, I think this one is actually a pretty decent um, vase a lot of them have that really weird uh, film that washes right off this seems to be a little bit thicker and nicer glass uh, but it's this nice gold color. I just thought that was really pretty. And it's kind of got a smoke to it. So just really pretty with candles in there. They shine through this, the little dots in the, in the paint. And I just think they're beautiful for Christmas. And then we found this fat Santa. He's thin and fat all at the same time. He's wide, but he's thin. So he's great for if you've got a mantle or something like a thin shelf that you want to piece, put a cute piece of decor on. And we even managed to get him home without breaking the, <laughs> the star off. So I was happy about that. Um, he's a candle holder. So you just stick your little votive holder or your little tea light in here. And he's just super cute. So couldn't pass him up. And then last but not least, as far as, oh, nope, I got these guys. Um, for Christmas decor, I got this and this is a stocking hand hanger. It is ceramic. She, I just couldn't pass her up. The price was pretty high, honestly. Um, but I, I thought she was, isn't she cute? She's just a little fat angel. She's got little bitty wings back here. She's got the sweetest face. Uh, and like I said, I just, I, I love the colors. I thought she was just really pretty. Um, so I nabbed her. And then, um, I'll show you my neighbor brought this over to me. It's a, it's like a Christmas tree, um, ornament and it's a little flower shop and I love flowers and I have a nursery. So this was super cute little bird house. And uh, so I'm going to keep this for me. Um, I think it's probably going to go on my tree at home. So I was really appreciative of that. It needs a little bath, but other than that, it's super cute. <clears throat> Then we found this chicken. My husband pointed it out and I really liked it. So I nabbed it. He's just really pretty. He's wood. Um, either that or he's that really nifty resin that they make now that feels and, and sounds like wood. So either way, it's a it's nice little heavy piece. It's got these little metal legs. Um, I just thought he was really cute. I don't think I'm going to do a darn thing to him. Um, and he'll go out on the, on the shelves. Then... I like pottery and I thought this was really a pretty color. Uh, this really nice blue. I don't think 
it's got something here, but it's not a signature, uh, but it feels homemade. It's nice and thick. It's just beautiful. I love, I love the color. And I don't know if you remember, but uh, either the last or taller, the one before that, I had gotten a blown glass egg for Easter that's kind of the same color blue. And now I have this and I have a couple other things that are around this color. And so I'm thinking this is going to be really pretty when I put this whole little springy with the blue um, vignette together. So we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to put that aside for for now. Um, oh, this this didn't have a price on it, so they gave it to me for $1.99. It's just rusty metal, um, but I liked it. I Again, I will put it out with my Christmas stuff because uh, for me, candlelight is just a huge part of Christmas decor. And uh, even if the candle holder isn't, you know, specifically Christmas, it doesn't really matter. Um, it, for me, I just like candles for Christmas. So this is nice because it gets a candle up and out of you know, the base and I just thought it was cute. So there's that. This I thought was super pretty. It's very dainty. This glass is super thin. So I, I told my husband to be really careful. It's just a little um, hurricane tea light holder. Uh, this is gonna go out for spring. Um, it's it's just cute. It says Lasting Products Inked. It was it, ink. It was hand painted, made in the USA. Um, and like I said, I just thought it was pretty. I'm not usually a big fan of pink per se, but I just couldn't pass this up. I just thought it was so pretty. Put it not by the edge of the table. <laughs> oh yeah, for Christmas I have this. My husband found this. This is Party Light. So if you're familiar with Party Light at all, you know this was probably pretty um, expensive when it was first new. And it is a little dingy. It looks like somebody has had it and loved it well. Um, definitely needs a bath. But it's very nice and heavy. Um, Party Light always makes super high quality products. So this is uh, just plain white ceramic. Very neutral, beautiful little nativity scene. Um, and it's, a, of course, a candle holder. So this would look great, again, on your mantle uh, with all your other candle um, holders or whatever. So I grabbed this. Um, and it's, like I said, it's just a really nice piece. It doesn't have any chips or anything like that, and it just needs a bath. Ooh. And then these guys are, I'm pretty sure, hand-painted um, candle holders. They're ceramic, so uh, they're little pillar holders. They've had pillars in them at some point because this one's got a little bit of wax. That should be fun to get out. I really need to bring my heat gun. Actually, technically, it's my husband's heat gun, but I stole it fair and square, so now it's mine. Um, <laughs> and I can get this out with that. So I will probably put these out as is. I might take them over to my booth in Midtown and see because um, this kind of stuff does tend to sell a little bit faster there. Um, but if they are left over after Christmas, they very well could get a paint job that I give them um, and change them up for spring. So we will see what happens with these guys. Uh, then this thing, I love these big hurricanes. You can do so many things with these. You don't have to just use them as a candle holder. Uh, you can put a little bottle brush tree and a little scene in here for Christmas. You could get a little rabbit and some Easter eggs and put it in there for Easter. I mean, there are so many things that you can do with these big hurricanes. And so, and this one is really nice and hefty. It's in really good shape. Uh, it looks like something that probably came from Pier 1 or Pottery Barn. Um, so I nabbed that. I honestly talked my, almost talked myself out of it. My husband's like, no, because there were two of them and the other one was cheaper made and more expensive than this one. And he's like, see, and so yeah, so I grabbed it. Then this thing, um, I love apothecary jars and I loved the, the fact that this one's colored. It's not just clear glass. It's really pretty. It's not quite orange. It's definitely kind of goldy yellow, um, but really pretty. I thought it'll, it'll look really pretty with some of the stuff I have for spring. Um, and it's super heavy, and I am I want to do some research on it, so um, just to make sure it's not actually worth anything. But I just it's in perfect shape. It's really cute, so I nabbed that. And then two pillar holders. This one's kind of weird. Uh, it looks like a bell. But there's, there's no, I lie. 
it does sound like there's a little bell in there <laughs> but uh i think it's actually up here um but it's wood and then like a ceramic it's kind of a different shape uh but it's kind of neat and i thought this might give me the opportunity to do um like a transfer or you know do something fun with this base portion of it so we'll see it's definitely going to get a paint job either way um, and then this one is ceramic and it will get painted. Uh, I do like the color. I mean, it looks really nice the way it is. I'm just not a big fan of the sheen um, of the ceramic. So I will probably paint it. Uh, and then a few things left. We, oh, we got this sleigh. I love wood sleighs. I, well, I like metal sleighs too. I just like sleighs. I think they're really pretty. Um, and I don't think... I, I think people pass these up when they see them because they're really not sure what to do with them. This one's going to get a paint job and I might actually, I'm going to be doing my thrift flip bit video that's due today. I'm going to be doing that as soon as I can clear off this table. I need to get started on that and I'm thinking this might be one of the pieces that I actually do today and I'm really thinking um, these sides give you such a good opportunity for some sort of decor and I'm thinking maybe uh, a mold um, and put on here and then paint it uh, and then the thing that you do with these it, you just use put some greenery in here put a candle holder in here maybe put like um, your little piece of decor in here and then put it you can put it on the floor you can put it on a table but with some greenery and stuff behind it I they just make a lovely little vignette all by themselves without having to do hardly anything so they're a great um, addition to Christmas decor I just love them so I bought that and the price was good and it seems like it's homemade it's very very sturdy and then my husband found this they were it was in a bin that they were just bringing out and as as you probably know i'm a huge gardener obviously i own a nursery um i have gardens at home and i love anything that's garden related so this was nice it's very very dirty um but the price was good and it's nice and sturdy so i grabbed that little plant stand so and then i kind of scored on pictures which was fun so i got a few i'm gonna scoot back make sure i'm not gonna get anything I got this Christmas picture that I thought was just really pretty. Uh, this was $55 originally. Um, so, and I'm not going to do anything to this. It'll stay just the way that it is. The frame, I like the frame just the way it is. Then I got this one, and this one I might actually paint the frame, but it's a nice oak frame. Um, so it's another Christmas. And this is home interiors. So this was... Um, definitely a spendy little unit when it was new but again home interiors was a, another company that had very high quality product so um, it's a good little picture and then uh, I found a couple for spring so there's this one looks like a little French flower market somebody painted the frame of this and they did a terrible terrible job they did not tape it off which is fine if you are careful but they weren't careful they didn't paint this part of the picture at all and then whatever paint they used was an icky flat paint and it's just got all sorts of gunk and dirt on it so this is definitely going to get paint plus they painted it white which really doesn't really flow with much in here um i think they would have been better off painting it like a cream or black black would be lovely with this picture so that's my might be what i do with this so, but it's definitely, it'll get a little makeover, um, but it was half price, so I can pass it up. And then lastly, I got this one. And this, oh, it's from Art in Motion Gallery. Uh, and for those of you, I'm sure if you've seen pictures around, you know that these um, botanical prints are super in. And I, I saw this, it's got a nice wood frame. It's beautifully done. I probably won't touch this at all. And this will just go out um, probably on my new shelves. I'm super excited to have some artwork to put on my new shelves um, this spring. So that's probably where this will go. Um, but it's, it's really pretty. This was definitely a score. I, I felt really good about that. Um, and then the last couple things I got were just things for the shop. I got, um, I don't know if you can see it, but I got this cute 
it's not really cute. I mean, it's just utilitarian, but it's a, a little, move some of these things so you can actually see. I don't want to pick it up because I already put stuff in it. Um, anyway, one of these little drawer thingies. So, because um, I'm always in the need of organizational kind of things. And then I got, I'll pick this one up even though I shouldn't. <laughs> I put all of my um, big stamp sets in this one, but I got one of these. So, and this is perfect because it's 12 by 12 and all the stamp sets come in a 12 by 12. And so I've got all of my stamp sets now in these drawers. And so I'm trying to get a little bit more organized in here in my kitchen. Uh, since I moved everything out of the bump out, put it in here, it was a lot of stuff to bring in. And so I put these cabinets in and little by little it's getting there. So, but that's it. Yep. That's it. So that is my thrift haul for this week. And you, like I said, you'll be seeing a lot of these cool things out on the floor probably later this week and definitely by Black Friday. So if you see anything you like, please come in and nab it. Uh, and I hope to see you for either Black Friday or Small Business Saturday, which is coming up. And uh, I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving and um, I will see you soon. Bye.